What's up guys? This is the first video to a series I have that covers a character from a past NRS or Midway game explaining why they were broken, busted, overpowered, or whichever term you prefer in that specific game. The first character to introduce this series is going to be Sonya Blade from Mortal Kombat 9. Now Sonya Blade was considered to be more of a rushdown character with great footsies, buttons, a powerful up close game, and a plethora of mix-ups. She was ranked number 2 on the last most updated MK9 overall matchup chart because she absolutely shut down and decimated so many different characters within her footsie range and once she got going. She's ranked number 4 on the tier list below Cabal, Kenshi, and Cyrex. So why was Sonya so overpowered in Mortal Kombat 9? To start things off, let's look at her buttons. She has the best down 4 in the game. It low profiles many attacks, hits low, and immediately starts her offense on hit or block. A simple down 4 like this from Sonya can instantly get her in and start her entire game which can be a death sentence for so many characters. You're probably wondering, but how on earth could something like a down 4 be so empowering even if the opponent were to block this attack? Is there down 4 plus on block? What could it possibly be? Well yes and no. The actual frames for Sonya's down 4 on block are neutral, also known as 0, which means you and the opponent recover at the same time. However, Sonya has a special stance move called Military Stance and she can cancel any of her normals or strings into this stance. What is Military Stance you ask? Military Stance is the best stance in this entire game and it turns Sonya Blade into a pseudo grip of death character that is incredibly difficult to get her off once she gets going. And something as simplistic as blocking a down 4 from outside sweep distance is all it can take. From her Military Stance she has access to an unreactable overhead that is safe on block and grants a hard knockdown she has access to a quick unreactable low that is safe on block and grants a knockdown, a double hitting mid attack that is neutral on block and leads to juggles in the corner, a quick mid hitting shoulder attack that is plus 22 on hit and grants Sonya nearly any of her attacks afterwards, a half screen safe football tackle, and the best move out of the stand saved for last is a half screen advancing double O attack that is plus 1 on block. You combine all of these military stance attacks with Sonya's preset normals and combo string arsenal and you get the equivalent of being strapped into an invisible roller coaster that you have no clue when it's going to go up, down or bring you in for a loop. Now envision all of these options Sonya already has with being able to cancel into a multitude of different attacks from any of her normals, down for or strings and now introduce military stance cancels. Off of Sonya's military stance cancels, she can create extremely powerful advantageous situations for her and produce suffocating frame traps for the opponent. Something as simple as a down 4 military stance cancel becomes plus 8 on block. Plus 8 on a block. This is literally almost an infinite block trap on characters in the corner if you execute it properly since her down 4 is 12 frames of startup. Her standing 2 military stance cancel becomes plus 8 on block. Her 1-1-2 military stance cancel becomes plus 5 on block, and so on. You get the picture. Now let's drive away from Sonya's insane up close pressure mix up game to other parts of her character that made her a true nightmare to deal with. Cartwheel. Cartwheel was a double hitting mid launching attack that was completely safe on block at minus 3. This means that Sonya could throw in this cartwheel off any of her strings or after a down 4, and if you happen to get hit by her cartwheel you are being launched for a full combo. Her cartwheel also did 4% chip damage on block and built a decent amount of super meter for her while also having barely any whiff recovery. Now getting into her EX cartwheel, it was everything that the normal version did but this time it had super armor. Yes, super armor. Not normal armor where there's one hit that the attack can absorb. EX cartwheel had super armor and therefore it could absorb anywhere from 2 hits 7 hits, 10,000 hits, it didn't matter. The move had an infinite supply of armor until the attack's armor duration wore off. This means from frame 1 of the attack for when the armor kicks in until the final frame that the attack's hitbox becomes active, you cannot beat out Sonya's armor unless you're using an x-ray attack that specifically armor breaks. Now just imagine a character where anytime she has one bar of meter becomes 10 times more threatening and petrifying of close than she already was. You're so afraid to push a button even if she was minus 6 or if you're plus 5. It didn't matter because of the threat of instant super armor at any time. You would be terrified to push a button outside sweep distance because a random EX car wheel could launch you at any time and seal your fate. 
This is the effect that a safe armor launcher in, this, in the name of EX Cartwheel had on Sonya. Pushing all of this aside, we will now get into Sonya's dive kick, which was yet another one of her amazing special moves. Sonya's dive kick was 4 frame startup in the air and came out at 10 frames in total from the ground when done as an instant air attack if executed perfectly. It had insane amounts of priority and instantly low crush certain attacks and led to insane damage on hit. It was also very difficult for many characters to properly punish on block due to its pushback and how fast she recovered if aimed at the opponent's legs or shins. This was one of the best overall low risk high reward moves in the game when used in the right situation against so many characters. Instant air dive kick could also be used to full combo punish down ones on block as well. Sonya's dive kick could also be used to jump out of certain gaps for easy full combo punishes to make whiff punishing very powerful in her sweep range and it was also incredibly risky for the opponent to try and answer air her since it would be a 50-50 if she would come down with a dive kick or not. Now in this video we're not going to go through every single thing that made Sonya absurd in MK9 because she had a lot of very strong tools and an S tier kit but we will touch on a restand as the last part of this video. On top of all of Sonya's insane tools and up close power game, she had the ability to restand you and completely eliminate and bypass dealing with any character's wake up game. 1-1-2 which was her restand that was normally neutral on hit became plus 20 on hit when she cancelled it into military stance. This meant that Sony got guaranteed and free offense after any of her combos or BMBs that you could do nothing about but hopefully guess right and try to defend from the onslaught that took place after she took a chunk of your health. This in a nutshell was Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 9, one of the most powerful iterations of the character since Mortal Kombat 1 Sonya and Mortal Kombat X Patch 2 Demolition Sonya. Hope you guys found this video interesting and look forward to the next one in the series. I guess I'll have to do this the hard way.